Kindly. Uh, Bill Beeman's kindly joined us to give us a testimonial for um, Life of Mine podcast. Uh, no, oh sorry, no, we're doing it for <laughs> we're doing it for EdTech, aren't we? Oh sorry, ah, no, you got too many uh, episodes, it was, Matty. It's oh. worth, it was worth a bloody try, no. <laughs> mate. We look, have a look at it. He's bloody Mac has uh, pulled the cobwebs out of the wallet and uh, gone big. It doesn't happen that often with Shane. Hey, but I've, I have heard from an anonymous source that bloody don't hop in a cab with you because you don't bloody you do the runner and don't pay for it. That's what Carrot was telling me. <laughs> well, you don't make money by being uh, loose with your change, mate. So. <laughs> mate, Entech, they were at the they were the start at the start of Northern Starlock at the start with Bill Beeman, weren't they? I was Shane's first client. Yeah. yeah, he's done all the due diligence of every single asset I've ever bought. Is that right? With the exception of one right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if you got the memo. Northern Stars bought a couple too in the past de- decade. Like, yeah, I think we've done ten or eleven transactions in the time. So what was that? What was so? What was there at the start when Northern Star was just a just a bloody couple of drill holes up in the Kimberley? I don't even think we had that. Really? <laughs> we well, had a couple of projects up there, but yeah. but we had nothing. What was um. Needed the, shame. needed the shame by then. He didn't have banners no. back then, I don't think. So, uh, hey, what, what, when you say you, you were his first client, give us a bit of con- give us a bit of context to what that meant. Oh, look, when you when you buy an asset um, and you're raising money or you're taking on debt, you need a, you need a little bit of independence to sign off on what you think is there. So we had a mine plan. Um, I thought the mine plan was very conservative, um, but Shane come in and helped me do the independent due diligence of the mine. Um, the mine plan, the infrastructure. You know, we had Stan Gilman as well, which, you know, yep. legend. Um, Stan come up and did the due diligence trips with Shane and myself on the acquisition. So, yeah, it was part of the, part of the team. There was no one else around and, and I had, had a great independent sign-off by those two guys. Did he tell you what you wanted to hear? Um, was it, did they see the potential uh, early on? Look, or was, well, maybe you had believed in it a bit more than others? No, no, it was very, <laughs> it was very evident. Yeah. Um, um, but has he told you about how he invoiced? no. Ah, okay. what do you, what do you, he doesn't need did, a testimonial, did you mate. shares or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I paid him in fo- in five cent shares. Yep. So I think that's um, how Stan got paid too, didn't he? he yes. He's Stan, relishing Stan in and it. Kerry and uh, and Shane and Kaza <laughs> McClay have, um, are still large shareholders of Northern yep. Star. They've sold a couple along the way, but uh, yeah, fantastic journey. So you know they're smart enough and and intelligent enough to to grab their invoice in shares and, and cash. So. It was great for the company, be but a tough one to get past the missus, but wouldn't you? Like this, this bill bloke's not paying. He's paying me in shares, and I won't see a return for ten years. When you interview Stan again, ask about Kerry's uh, a share sale of Northern Star. <laughs> I think they didn't talk for about three months, but uh, they haven't sold a share since. But um, and uh, I think every time Kaz and McClay wants to build a house or something, uh, it's uh, a few t- get tipped out along the way. But it's been a fantastic journey that. You know, people that did the due diligence and help with the acquisition are still large shareholders. Yeah. So believe in the story and believe in the business. Well, give us, because I've got like a few, uh, or plenty of underground miners listening to this, I'd say. What is Come and work for me in due course, huh? There you go. <laughs> hey, hey. Stay tuned, everyone. Going back into Billy's it. Billy's paying big bucks for the levers, apparently. So. Yeah, it's <laughs> word on the street, mate. Don't worry. What, what, what is a due diligence? What is it? Um, so terms. look, when you when you want to acquire an asset, you got to put a team of people, and you know, normally mining engineers, geos, metallurgists, construction managers, or, or mechanical engineers for fixed plant and processing. So you need a, a full suite of people, and you got to have financial analysts and, and bankers, obviously. So you have got to do that technical due diligence so that your your bank can sign off on debt for an acquisition, or the equity markets can you know sign off on a, on a raise to go and buy the asset from the stock market. So yeah. you have to have a DD team and. You know, when you're a certain size, you'll, you'll have it um, a lot of it uh, internal, but you always still have to have an external person to independently verify what your internal, even Northern Star now, yeah. we still have independent, you know, like I said, NTEC have done all our independent due diligence, including, you know, Saracen yeah. uh, merger the other day and uh, Super Pit, the same thing. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, can't thank him enough. Yeah. I don't, don't think he needs a testimonial. <laughs> I, don't, I think he's, he's dominant in the industry with what he does and he's cut a real niche and, you know, he's got a fantastic business and an awesome team that work for him. Yeah, I didn't know because I didn't want to let him down. I, I messaged him. I said, mate, I know I really appreciate your invite to the booth, but I've only got Life of Mine t-shirts. Am I going to be allowed in? I haven't got any corporate merch yet. So, well, and he was kind enough to help me out. So, well, so. don't you love his Vegemite? <laughs> he does. I grabbed a jar yesterday. Kids love it. Of, of course you would have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. So, you know, I guess what what a in terms of NTech as a bloody, you know, as a consultant, why you've had them for so long, why, you, why you've uh, stuck with them being loyal, just being so loyal to Macca, why? 
Oh, look, uh, cheap rates. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. That's all you need nah. to know. Mac is nice and cheap. No, nah, look, I, I, look, to be honest, I've said to him for years, I think he is too cheap. But, um, but he's just got a quality team, um, people that have been in his business for a long time. Um, they've all come through the operational you know, filter in prison, which is really important. Yeah. You get consultants that have you know come out of uni, gone and wet their ears on a mine site for a couple of years and go on a consultancy. That's not Shane's team. Yeah. He's got people who actually worked and operated mines and run mines that have now chosen a path to be a consultant in, in the city. So, you know, so you've got that practical experience with the theoretical and, uh, and, uh, and stuff that you get from a consultancy business. So, it's, yeah, again, comes back to a great team and, you know, and, and Shane's a great operator himself. So, you know, when you get a sign off by Entech, you know, it's, it's something you can bank. What's it like being that a, on... That was a good testament. That was mate, a good that's just so take, you can bank, huh? take that bit out. <laughs> Pardon the pun. What's it like being on the other side of McInerney? Because you were... I remember in your episode, you said when he's uh, he was running Gualia and you had your... When you were with Barmico and you had your, your bloody big Atlas Jumbo there or that, that wasn't working that well and he's ringing you up, giving you bloody curry and, and oh. now you're on the other side. Well, was it good to get back, back on top with him, mate? Oh. Oh, yeah, look, I've had you know, 12 years or 11 or 12 years being on the other side, so no, don't worry. It's uh, but um, no, it's been a you know, it's it's been a great relationship for a long time. Shane and I worked on numerous jobs, but uh, the industry's small and it comes around, goes around, and comes around, and uh, and it's you know, it's unique. I'm getting back into a little bit of that side again in my new vehicle, so I'll go and build an asset, but also do some other stuff on the you know, in, in that vehicle as well. So I'll be probably back. Um, doing some work for some clients and, and consultants. So the shoe will be back on the other foot yeah. right, in uh, maybe six to 12 months. There you go. No, well, thanks very much for popping by, mate. Buddy, uh, mate, if you need to, hey, what do you reckon of this sort of, see these shirts just turn up. Biggest drama these days, people chucking sickies. So in your new ventures, buy a couple hundred of these, give them out as safety prizes. Mate, I had one day off in the last 12 years, uh, last 14 exactly, years. So. Exactly, exactly. Uh, well, we could do a version two, we'll get your mug on here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thanks very much for popping by, Bill. No Appreciate worries, it, mate. No, good luck with the new ventures. Will do. Yeah. Hopefully I can tell you about that in three or four months' time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah, all good. All, right. <laughs> all you operators out there, it's a good venture coming. There you go. You heard it here first. Yeah. So he does. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate. <laughs> good on you, mate. Yeah, mate. No worries.